How's it going guys? Today I'm going to be doing an overview of Corrupted Chronomancer while the Hourglass of Paradise is active. For enhancements, once again, I recommend using full luck. For your rotation, use 643, 2 4 times, then 4 5. The need to use your 3 may vary depending on the corruption you're using. Paradise is the most defensive Hourglass of the 3 with its damage reduction and HOT, and when paired with infinite corruption, it makes for a great soloer that can withstand most monsters in the game. When compared to the other Hourglasses, this one provides the lowest DPS, but when Entropic Corruption is used, it can still output a decent amount of damage as long as you don't die. Once again with farming, Entropic Corruption is the way to go, but the class still lacks the range and AoE needed to be an above average farmer. In PvP, the Hourglass doesn't pair too badly with Entropic Corruption if you activate it after pressing 4, but the defense debuff is still a huge risk, and it can still have trouble against dodge and tank classes. And once again with support, do not use the class for that purpose. Overall, the Hourglass of Paradise shifts Corrupted Chronomancer over to a more defense-focused playstyle in exchange for damage. It's probably the least practical out of the three Hourglasses as Calendar classes are naturally built for damage. But, if you want to nuke for a decent amount and not die, this Hourglass is the way to go. Anyways, that's all for this video. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time when I go over the Hourglass of Transients.